Payspace. I've logged on to our testing tenants within Payspace as well as in Workday. On Workday, I've gone through the business process of hiring a new employee, and this employee's name is Luca. We can see that I can access his profile through Workday. However, if I navigate back to Payspace and search for this employee, he's not yet within my Payspace list of employees. This is because the integration has not yet run for this employee, which I will do manually now. To have a look at some of the employee's details under the personal tab, we can see this employee is a male, his age, birth date, citizenship, and other necessary information. We can have a look at his compensation elements. I've loaded this employee with a base pay of 23,000 Rand, and it should be paid monthly. To run the integration manually, I will search for the task to launch the integration. We'll run the integration to our testing site and select OK. I need to select the pay group that the employee belongs to, which is PaySpace PG monthly. And a very nice feature is that I can run the integration for a specific employee only, which would be my employee, Luca. Since no integration is run for this employee, I can leave all the information as is and select OK. We can see that it is busy processing. And I can refresh it just to prompt it. Once completed, the user has the availability to download certain reports. And a very nice report to view would be this audit report, where I will be able to see exactly what was received from Workday and essentially pulled into PaySpace. It is a very nice to read report where I can see all the fields and all the information that has been received. If I now navigate back to PaySpace, and I search for my employees, I can see that Luca now displays in my employee list. And if I search as I did previously, he is an active employee within my company. To view some of the same information, just to make sure that the integration was successful, we can look at his basic profile. Where I will see the exact names and information as seen in Workday and our personal tab. Again, I can see that he is a male with the same birth date that is in Workday. If we have a look at the order trail, I will be able to see that it was my Workday integration that added this employee at the exact time and date. With regards to the compensation elements, if we go and check his pay rate details, I can see that the package of 23,000 Rand is sitting on his pay rate screen and will be paid to the employee per month as per his profile in Workday. The other demonstration that I would like to show you is how an employee can retrieve their payslip directly from Workday. If I sign in as an employee, and I navigate to my profile. As soon as I select pay and the pay slip tab is selected, Workday is resulting in a call to PaySpace, which will then result in my list of pay slips displaying for me. It will display the last 10 pay slips for my employee to receive, but if they had any more pay slips, there would be an option for them to view the last 100 pay slips that appear on their profile. The employee has the option then to retrieve a PDF version of their payslip, and if I select view payslip, 
another call is being made to Payspace and I can see the PDF payslip. The user also then has the option to download or print the payslip as necessary.